right, but let's get in the game here. And yeah, Boomer, it is a bird game, kind of, but I think you're thinking of fledgling heroes, probably. I forget what the characters have different stuff. I remember the chicken being fun. Let's, let's do the chicken. Oh, you're good. Um, I often have a difficult time remembering fledgling hero's name. <laughs> so... Got those little brown spots. We'll have spikes shoot up if you stand on them. Silly me. So basically, the premise of this game is that you are a bird, or in some cases, a platypus. Uh, you're something with a beak, and you get different weapons based on which bird or beaked creature that you pick. Um, and you go through these dungeons and like a roguelite, kind of. Um, you can get different items and artifacts and weapons and stuff to give you a better chance of making it through. Um, I think the furthest I've gotten is the third area. I've gotten to the boss of the third area, but I haven't gotten further than that, I believe, if memory serves me correctly. First boss and second boss aren't, like, aren't too bad as long as you have a decent enough, uh, build and stuff to work with. Uh, oh, I didn't even get to read that. I accidentally pushed the button. So now we have whatever gun this is, and that's what we're stuck with. So. Is it a Gravity gun? Yeah, it's pulling everything. Ah, okay. Intriguing. Uh, I didn't really want to come back here so soon. Let's just get a random gun and see what it does. I, I did think that the gravity gun's interesting, but it got me hurt twice there because I didn't know what was going on. I don't know what this gun's deal is, but... I don't know what I just picked up. It said token, but... Oh, there was an invisible frog there. Ah. Oh, a key. I would like that key, please. out of here. Deadly plant. I have a key, so I don't see any reason why I shouldn't go through here. I'm getting a lot of plant-related stuff, which I guess makes sense for our surroundings, anyway. 
Also, I want to do a quick check. How does volume sound for both my voice as well as the game audio? I've been I messed with the balancing a little bit today. I want to make sure nothing's too loud or too quiet. I had to adjust stuff yesterday while we were doing VR games on stream. And I still need to adjust that better for the next VR stream because I realized a lot of the time my audio was either very low at best uh, when it wasn't completely muffled or like shaky because I realized I had the, the ceiling fan on and um, I was very far away from my desk mic because I had to make adjustments to have enough room to play the VR games. So I have switched stuff up for next time for that, but it's fine on your end. Okay, good. Good to hear. So I put it relatively close back to where it was before, hopefully. Got lots of artifacts to work with. We got lots of health, too, which is nice. I also have a dodge button, but with the chicken, I don't tend to use it so much. Be right back. Sounds good, Boomer. No problem. Any more invisible frogs coming to ruin my day? No? Okay, good. Um, I want to go here first, and then I'll go to the, the boss room. Just to see what other stuff they got. I can't afford anything anyway, but maybe I can... You have one HP left, your weapon deals double damage. Okay. 15% weapon range. I don't feel like I needed more range, but... I mean... Neither of those were bad, I'll take them. Now, since I've been on a speedrunning kick lately, I'm actually curious to see what speed runs for this look like. Did take a little bit of damage, unfortunately. That's health. Got the health and the keys. Frog needs to chill out. Okay. Okay, Newt. Newt's not so bad. Okay. There we go. Explosive gold. Key. Um, the feather lets me dodge. Ability to freeze all active enemies for three seconds. It's actually kind of good. We'll do that. Um, that might end up saving us more than the dodge roll will.
I didn't even see that mortar thing over there. Stupid arms. Come on. Jeez, okay. Well, mortar did two damage to us. That's pretty bad. I don't think we're going to be able to heal that back up anytime soon. Why did I do that? Okay, I'm in desperate need of a store here. A room with a key, but that doesn't guarantee it's a good room to be in. Give it a shot, though. Not loving this. Okay. Again, I thought I froze him so he didn't shoot, but he'd already fired it before I froze him. Okay. I like this game a lot. I love most roguelites. second. Okay. Haha, -ha, ho ho. Classic, uh, classic ponderful boomer remark. Let's just go fight fight the boss. It's only a one skull now because we didn't progress all the way through as far as we did the other time, but that's okay. We got the ice thing again. I liked that, so I'm going to take it again. I don't remember what any of this other stuff does, but we'll pick it all up. Sorry, Feather. You're good, but... Uh... And playing this game honestly makes me want to go back and uh, keep playing Hades and... Uh... 
Binding of Isaac, and uh, Enter the Gungeon. This one reminds me most of Enter the Gungeon of those comparisons, but... Alright, what are you going to give me in exchange? Lots of good stuff. Um... Oh, I don't have enough coins. Hey, dupes. Good to see you, my friend. Good to see you. Boomer, can we get a shout out for Dupe SSB, the guy himself? If you guys don't know him, be sure to check out his channel. I have a lot of fun watching his uh, his speed runs. I got to watch him play some Mario 64 All Boxes the other day. Um, and when I first started watching, uh, I found him on uh, Diddy Kong Racing speed runs. He's he's cracked when it comes to speed runs. It's definitely worth going over there and, and checking out the channel. All right, head up. I hope you're doing well, having a having a solid Wednesday. Oh, I'm in a bad spot. Oh, he he did three damage. Okay, I definitely should have hit the freeze button. Yes, that that's that's true as well. He has incredible emotes. <laughs> Of course, and I'm happy to. I'm always happy to send people over to another channel, give them an opportunity to have a cool experience, and uh, it's a place I spend my time. There's absolutely no reason I shouldn't give others the opportunity to have that experience as well. Coin, 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 coin. Do, do I do I not? Can I not have money now? I must have picked up an item that makes uh, makes me unable to pick up coins. Oh boy! Let me get this health before it disappears. I'm just getting hit by everything now. Yeah, I can't pick up coins now. That's fine. And of course, on on a run where a bunch of coins are spawning, I can't pick any of them up because an item I got earlier. That's RNG for you. Oh. Some more health. At least I can pick up the health. It'd be far worse if I couldn't get any health. This is a chicken roguelike. Yeah, a kind of. Uh, it's called Blazing Beaks. Um, I guess the main characters are actually a duck and a platypus, but this is one of the other characters that you can unlock. Uh, I like him a lot because, in particular, this character has a pretty solid weapon to start with, and its like main drawback is that if you try to shoot while you're running, the accuracy basically disappears. Um, but yeah, chicken chicken roguelike pretty much covers the the bases there. There's a bunch of different worlds, and, uh, oh, I completely got hit there. Um, it also has, like, you have somewhat control of the difficulty of the run. Um, you can see there, for this boss's health bar, he's got the one skull next to his name. Depending on how many more levels you go through before you choose to fight the boss, he would have two or three skulls. Um... This game does a lot of good stuff that I like to uh, to make it challenging and interesting. And you have different abilities that you can pick up, different items, different guns, um, and then there's relics that you can transform into permanent stats. Uh, but relics have like positives and negatives of using them, stuff like that. Oh, stop! There we go. Okay, right, switch. Oh. Huh. 
Okay, that's a weird item. So using that changed my gun. It changed both my gun and the item itself into a different item. So now I have a shotgun. And I got another feather. Did I just... Every time I dodge, I lose health? What's going on? <laughs> Did that switch item that I... The switch item I picked up must have changed everything about my whole loadout, because I was not taking damage for dodge rolling before. Reduces fire rate on run. Reduces fire rate or run speed or weapon damage by entering the next level. I mean, okay. Oh, that fire rate's definitely reduced. Oh, and they've got the mortar enemies now. Yeah, with only with only five health. And that's okay, can I pick up coins now? I still can't pick up coins, so whatever I did hath ruined me forever. Yeah, I don't I don't know what's up. I could use coins before. More burbs. Yeah, yeah, there's a bunch of different characters you can play. Platypus the duck. Uh, you got the chicken, there's a penguin, uh, who has like an ice launcher gun. Uh, there's, I think, two different kinds of macaws. Okay, these bullets that come out don't, uh, don't do a lot of damage. getting any keys either. This <laughs> this run doesn't seem like it's going to get me very far. I'm kind of surprised I'm still alive right now, to be totally honest. Yeah, there it goes. Back to square one. Okay, there are, I can pick up coins again. Yeah, I really don't know what I did before, but... I angered somebody. Took unnecessary damage. Oh, I left a relic behind. All right, let me restart. <laughs> I didn't notice it on the floor until I'd already entered the door. key, though, to go in there. Oh, invisible fogs. Oh, god. So I'm focused on the footsteps approaching me. I didn't even... Is my is my gun disabled? What's, what's happening? my health there. kill this coin, I can get money, but tends to get away before I can kill him, because my weapon never does enough damage in time. 
or I end up taking so much damage from the other enemies around that it ruins things. Anyway. Okay, I can go fight the boss right now. I can go into the shop room. Let me go in the shop room, because I don't have enough coins, but I can uh, trade in some stuff. When you purchase a weapon in the shop, that slot will be refilled. Okay. Decreases explosion... Decreases explosion range by 25%. I don't even know that that's better. Yeah, I don't have any coins. I don't think this guy actually helps with anything, because he's got ice. Invisible frogs. Decreased the explosion range by 25%, and I still, <laughs> I still got hit by it. Okay, well, now that we went through basically every level we could, this boss is going to be way uh, more resilient. That was maybe 20% of his health, if that. When he goes for the tongue move, we always try, have to try to be near one of the logs so that he gets stuck and we can actually hurt him. Yeah, this is looking like a uh, at least a six cycle. I dodge rolled to try to go past him, but I rolled into the, the zit instead. Okay. We'll give it one more go. Actually, for this last run, though, I'm going to do a different creature. Let me try out... I don't think I've played as the Macaw before. Let me try the Macaw out. Alright, what do you have? That thing does no damage. Zero. I'm not not super excited about the run. <laughs> because this thing, I mean, the fire rate's nice, but... Fire rate is the only thing that good I can say about it. I can just hold it and get good enough to keep tapping it. It's an invisible frog. I see your feet. Whoa, whoa, easy. I'm trying to walk in circles so that the frogs end up stepping on. Spikes. Nothing out of that room at all, huh? We have Acorn. Trying to 
keep okay. we got one frog down, get rid of this one. Couldn't even see that spike under there between the poison and the item. Please give me something good. One speed increase. If you have an artifact, it can drop loot. Okay, that's kind of good. Don't have money for any of those guns. The penguin's still just enjoying the AC. Again, I'm in a position where I can no longer pick up money. I think it was because of that coin purse thing that I picked up. Because of the fire rate damage output wise, we're basically the same per second as the chicken. damage every enemy takes one damage too okay take the key I can't pick up keys either five damage to each nearby enemy and one to yourself no thank you look at that though not being able to pick up keys is, is dumb <laughs> not being able to pick up coins is bad enough this guy isn't dying okay I can barrage the red guys with a bunch of bullets so that they can't charge at me like they can as the chicken. Got wedged against a wall. Okay. This game is fun. I'm definitely going to come back to this game again. 